Hi, in today's video we'll be covering the inventory management option and listing features of Celery. Apart from being used as a repricer for your items, Celery can also act as an inventory management tool for your merchant fulfilled listings. Please note that FBA items need to always be managed via Seller Central or another third-party tool. It's up to you to decide whether you want to stick to Amazon Seller Central or to Celery for managing your inventory, but it's good to know which options are available and how they work in order to manage items in an efficient way. The inventory management option is found in Settings, General, Inventory. When you sign up, the setting will be turned off by default and Celery will not be managing your merchant fulfilled inventory as long as the box is marked as checked. When the inventory management option is disabled, Celery will not add or remove any listing or adjust quantity for any items. All listing and quantity management will need to be done through your Seller Central account or other inventory management applications. Changes made to your inventory will then be imported into Celery every 4-6 to six hours. Now that we know that we can keep Amazon as our main inventory management tool, Let's take a look at how Celery and Amazon interact when this option is enabled. If you change your mind and want to start using Celery to manage your MFN items, when you go back to Settings General to uncheck the box, you should also know that along with re-enabling the inventory management option, Celery will instantly disable uploads to all accounts in the system. You will see this warning. As a preventive measure, Celery will disable your uploads when you select Yes to proceed. The idea behind this is to protect your items by avoiding out-of-date information being sent to Amazon without first giving you the chance of assessing the data. First verify your quantities and prices are correct and then navigate to Settings, Accounts and re-enable the Manage My Listings slider on all accounts. Remember to save afterwards. Also, if you select Yes, you will always see this reminder displayed at the top pages of your Celery account. One thing to keep in mind is that when the inventory management option is enabled, you should not make changes to listings or quantity on Amazon as Celery will override the data on its next upload. You should only ever use Celery or Amazon for inventory management and never mix the two. In the beginning of this video, I also mentioned that Celery can be used for listing merchant fulfilled items. But to add new items to your Amazon account with Celery, prepare an Excel file with the following columns. Cost, Quantity, Condition, SKU, and Product ID. Keep in mind that you can upload only MFN items in Celery. The Excel file should look like this. I've prepared one myself to illustrate this for you. Then upload the file into Celery under Settings, Uploads. This option is for items that are new to your inventory but that already exist on Amazon. To make sure the listing process is complete, map the items to a pricing rule in the Pricing Overview found under Settings. Don't forget to check that Celery is turned on under Settings, Accounts and that the Inventory Management option is enabled. If you are interested in adding new FBA items, you'll need to do it via Amazon Seller Central or another third-party application. After sending the shipment to Amazon, Celery will import the new FBA listings and begin repricing them. Apart from being able to list items via file upload, Celery has an inbuilt section whereby you can scan and add merchant fulfill items to your inventory. I'm talking about the receiving page found in the left upper corner of Celery. To add a new merchant fulfilled item, populate the ASIN, EAN, ISBN, or UPC field, condition, quantity, SKU, and cost fields. You can define other item attributes here as well, or even custom fields that you've created at the time of the scan. I'll explain more on that in a video describing specifically the receiving section. For now, I only want you to become familiar with the concept and keep in mind this is a valid listing option too. Use a barcode scanner or type or copy and paste the product ID to the first field to begin adding items to your inventory. Please note that competition and bibliographic data are only provided for existing products in the catalog of the Amazon venues you've added to Celery. If a product you scan is only available on Amazon Japan and you have an account on Amazon US, no results will be returned. Like I mentioned earlier, Amazon fulfilled items need to be 
added via Seller Central. When added, Seller reimports and sorts them into the appropriate smart lists and prices them according to your pricing overview settings. The new prices are then uploaded back to Amazon. One last thing before we conclude this video, when scanning your items, keep in mind that the catalog pages for those item types need to be already created on Amazon. If they aren't, you'll need to create them via Amazon. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, the Seller Engine team is happy to help you. Just send us a message in intercom or contact us at celery at sellerengine.com.